The robot can be programmed to wait by using a wait block and putting in 5 seconds under the time icon. After the robot waits, it needs to move. In my program, it turns before moving. By using the tank block and having the values of the left and right opposite, the robot smoothly turns. It is usually best to set it to rotations, and the rotations is best when between 0.1 and 0.5. It then needs to charge forward. The ch forward charge is done by using a move steering block and setting the block to on and it can be left at zero or for turning a very small amount set the turn number up to six or down to negative six. I have also found that it gets maximum pushing power with the motors set to 80 percent. It cannot just charge forward or it will run off the edge. You must then use a weight block and change it to color sensor and onto compare color. Then set the sensor to where it's searching for a black line and nothing else but black. After the robot reads the black line, it can't just turn or it will fall off the edge. So the robot must back up by using a move steering block. Set the power to a negative and the block to rotation. I wouldn't say it needs to back up far, just a third of a rotation. It can then be turned by using a tank move block. Now it needs to begin a loop. Right now I have it set for an infinite loop but you can set it to a count and then begin another loop. In the loop though, it doesn't need to turn as many times as I have it doing because it turns before entering the loop and at the end of the loop. It does need to charge forward though by using a move string block and turning it to on. This can be placed at the beginning of the loop or after the set of turns like I have it doing. It also needs to look for a black line while charging and stop there, then repeat the process of backing up and turning. Next, put everything together and you have programmed a Sugo bot. You can make adjustments wherever you like, just keep the basic formula in mind. Wow.